listen, I want to ask you something. You... You only just started. You can still stop. Well, you've got the willpower. You all help you. I'll do anything. Won't you, Mama? Please don't talk about things you don't understand. I give up. I knew it was no use. Anyway, I don't know what you're referring to. I do know that you should be the last. Right after I returned from the sanatorium, you began to be ill. And the doctor there had warned me I was to have peace at home, nothing to upset me, and all that I have done is worry about you. But that is no excuse. I'm simply trying to explain. It's not an excuse. Promise me, dear, that you don't believe that I made you an excuse. What else can I believe? Nothing. How can you... Uh, believe me, when I don't believe myself, I've become such a liar. I never lied about anything once upon a time, and now I have to lie, especially to myself. But how can you understand when I don't myself? I don't, I, I, I don't understand anything about it, except that one day, long ago, I found that I can no longer call my soul my own. But I will find it again, dear, someday, when you are all well, and I see you healthy and happy and successful, and I don't have to feel guilty anymore and someday when the blessed virgin gives me back the faith that i had in my convent days and i can pray to her again when she sees no one else in the world can believe in me even for a moment any longer then she'll believe in me and with her help it'll be so easy i will hear myself scream in agony and at the same time i'll laugh because i'll be so sure of myself <laughs> of course you can't believe that either now that I think of it, you might as well go uptown. I forgot that I'm taking a drive. I have to go to the drugstore, and you would hardly want to go there with me. You'd be so ashamed. Mother, don't. I suppose that you'll divide that $10 that your father gave you with Jamie. You always divide with each other like good sports, don't you? I know what he'll do with his share. He'll get drunk someplace where he can be with the only kind of woman that he likes or understands. But promise me, Edmund, you won't drink. It's so dangerous. You know that Dr. Hardy... I thought he was an old idiot. Anyway, by tonight, what will you care? Oh, Edmund. Come on, kid. Let's beat it. Go on, Edmund. Jamie's waiting, and here comes your father down the stairs. Come along, Edmund. Goodbye, dear. If you're coming home for dinner, try not to be late and tell your father you know what Bridget is. Goodbye, Mary. Goodbye, Mama. Goodbye. It's so lonely here. Oh, you're, you're lying to yourself again. You wanted to get rid of them. Their contempt and disgust aren't pleasant company. You're glad they're gone. Then, Mother of God, why do I feel so lonely? <laughs> <laughs>